Democrats. Thank you, President. We consider Russia to be an important partner to the European Union. Therefore, we expect Russia to respect her international obligations and implement the constitutional rights of her own citizens. It is a fact that the violations of human rights, civil liberties, as well as the rule of law, have become commonplace in Russia. The unlawfulness and widespread corruption has led to the emigration of 300,000 citizens from Russia last year only. It is hard to envisage both foreign and domestic business investments in such a climate. The Russian authorities are evidently implementing unconstitutional law and order. The situation in North Caucasus is one of the vilest examples of that. The Russian constitution provides a basis for a multi-party system, but de facto it has become one party system with a marginalized parliament. I would like to ask the representative of the Council which punitive measures and sanctions will be applied against the Russian officials who are directly responsible for human rights abuses and perversion of the rule of law. The European, the European Union must be in its policy towards third countries consistent. It would discredit the European Union if we turned the blind eye to some severe offences in some countries while setting sanctions to some other countries for identical offences. We cannot go on with normal relations unless concrete improvements are made in Russia. We have to face the truth. Thank you, President. Thank you, Madam.